Hi, my name is Coco with BlackDome.com, and I'm here with Jabari Banks, whom you know as the star of the Peacock hit series, Bel Air. And today we're here to talk about the YouTube Black Voices Fund event series, The Mandela Project. Thank you so much for joining me, Jabari. Oh, thank you for having me. This is going to be fun. <laughs> yes. And um, before we begin, I just want to congratulate you on a really stratospheric rise to fame with the Bel Air reboot. Stratospheric rise yes. to fame. Thank you. <laughs> no, that's and, exactly, that's exactly what it, it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. That's that's a great way to put it, for sure. <laughs> it's just, I mean, you know, I know you've worked really hard, and I've seen you talk in other interviews, and I know that your passions are have always been creative. I know that you're a rapper, and I know that you're an artist, and I've even heard you say that you are a musician first. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I am. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And you're you're originally from West Philly too, right? Uh, yes. Well, I'm a, I'm originally from West Philly and I'm from Maryland as well. So, like, I grew okay. up in both places. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. Yep. Okay, so one thing I noticed when I was watching the show is there's all this Philly slang um, that you'd really have to be from Philly to pull off. Like, you know, yes. I, can't sound, I can't sound like the Philly bull. You know what I'm saying? If I say the bull's right. wrong, <laughs> you can sound, <laughs> That's you can not sound bad. Like That's impossible. not bad, though. That's not oh, bad. Bull, that, wasn't, that wasn't too bad, the bull drawn. <laughs> uh, the second time around was <laughs> oh, man, okay. a little different. <laughs> Oh man, but um, I'd imagine though um, there are parallels from that really that first audition that you had in Philly to landing this major role and ending up on Bel Air. How was that transition? You know, what was that first thought when you landed it and you were like, "This is it," and I'm Will. Yeah, it was uh, definitely surreal because um, you know we all saw the video where Will called me, um, and, mm -hmm. and uh, to that moment it was definitely something that I was striving for for a long time and. This was actually my first uh, audition where I got a call back. Cause you know, as an actor, you know, you send your auditions in into the abyss and then nothing happens. You know, you don't hear anything back, mm -hmm. right in the silence, right? Mm -hmm. And so this was, the, this was the longest process that I had been a part of auditioning wise. And I was just like, I crossed my fingers and I was asking God, I was just like, if, it, if it's your will, let it be done. You know what I mean? Mm. And, uh, and I ended up booking the role. And, and so it's definitely uh, super special to be on the opposite side of it now uh, with, with so much love around the project and, um, and support. Mm -hmm. and, so it feels great. It feels great as an artist, um, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I feel very accomplished, and I'm. I feel it. It, it drives me to be better uh, mm -hmm. every season, you know, and, and every project that I want to do. Um, mm -hmm. Bel Air has set the tone for how I want mm -hmm. to approach it. Um, I'm, so, I'm really, yeah. yeah. I'm really happy for you. And I mean, you just, I mean, there's mannerisms and even the way, like I'm hearing you talk now, you know, you obviously, Jabari, you have your own voice, but when you're in that character, I mean, we can see and feel Will. It's just so interesting yeah. how how you get that. And you get that in a way that no one else would, would have been able to capture it. So obviously that, <laughs> Thank you. It, that there's a reason you were cast for it. Um, mm -hmm. So with this role, even the auditioning process, this was during like the the COVID and the Zoom times too, right? So you Yeah, were pandemic, yeah. Me. I mean, ah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like during uh, sort of the, no, it was it was peak pandemic for sure, because then Omicron mm -hmm. came around like December. So it was still, yeah, pandemic times. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that process was dope. Honestly, I say mm -hmm. it was a blessing that I didn't have to go in and, and, you know, see the producers. And also sometimes you see the competition in the waiting room, you know what I mean? And so you can mm -hmm. get in your head like, OK, that guy looks um, more like him or that guy has more credits than me or they, they like him a little bit more. I didn't have to I didn't have to see any competition. So it was just me versus me, you know, ah. and I think that was a blessing for me. Um, mm -hmm. While as while as to other actors, you know, um, you know, sometimes self tapes can be a curse. Um, but I found it as a blessing and mm -hmm. um, I, I allowed myself to uh, really focus on uh, me and the character and, and only me. And so I think that was dope. Yeah. That, thank you. Thank wonderful. you, COVID, for that. Thank you, COVID, for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can thank COVID for one thing I know, right? right you gotta find exactly. a blessing in everything, right? Like exactly. say, there's a silver lining in everything. In everything. And in this I'm, particular I'm, case. <laughs> I'm I am I am blindly optimistic. That is my personality. <laughs> I, I, I'm the same. You know, they call it a lot of times they call it like a Pollyanna syndrome where somebody just is like, Why are you always so happy? You know, you always yeah. find something good. At, you know, so a lot of times people that just kind of people that that aren't optimistic and that tend to be pessimistic. Yeah. They can yeah. find that annoying, but I, I like to be around people like that because it's like, you know, you just could be in the trenches and that person would be like, well, you know, you might exactly. be in the trenches, but that dude next to you, worse off. You know what? Exactly. That's, that's glass half. Exactly. You know, first world problems, glass half full. You know what I mean? So I'm like, yes. yeah, just grateful for everything always. <laughs> of you know? course. Of course. Jabari. That's so, good energy. <laughs> no, no. Good energy at all times. I always try to yeah. lead with the positive, you know, and I think about even when we talk about negative things. Um, I talk about opportunities. I never say things are negative. So, you know, I talk right. about strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So you talk about, oh, you also talk about solutions. 
right, exactly. ah, yeah. you you, yeah, you get me. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm with you. So now in, in Bel Air, Uncle Phil is running for DA um, and Will and yes, Charlton are also on the ground canvassing for community support and votes. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about your passion and focus because in the YouTube Black Voices Fund event series, the Mandela Project, you also have a, a very strong focus in voting, but let's talk about that and what drove you to that. Yeah, so I always had a passion um, just for, for people to get out there and, and uh, use their voices to vote. Uh, last election, I was I was canvassing in the rain and snow in Philly. Mm. And so I, I um, yeah, so I, um, I I have been in that position where Will and Carlton, you know, are going around in the community. And, and, and uh, you know, I, that's been my story as well. Um, but yeah, it was, I had an amazing opportunity to be a part of the uh, Nelson Mandela Foundation. And my episode is about voter suppression. And mm -hmm. um, and so we went out to Atlanta and we uh, did a voter registration drive and we got people to come out and, uh, you know, sign up to vote. And so uh, it's important to uh, remind, I think, the youth and, you know, Gen Z people my age that, you know, our voices really mm -hmm. do matter because sometimes it can feel so distant. Uh, and sometimes we can see the bigger elections as like, OK, now I can have to go out and vote. But sometimes we miss the smaller, the smaller elections, you know, what I mean, midterms and, and everything. And so that those are uh, equally as important. Or, or, mm -hmm. or even more, I would say. And so uh, it was a great opportunity to be able to uh, do that for my community uh, in a way that that, sh that sheds light uh, on, on voter uh, suppression and also Nelson Mandela. Mm -hmm. And Nelson, uh, mm -hmm. Mandela Day is coming up. So that was dope. That was a dope yes, opportunity. It is. Yes. And, you know, I, I, what do you say to people that think that, you know, I think one of the things you just said that's very important is that, you know, people need to get out and not just vote for the big, big elections. I mean, people don't right. realize that if, you know, a lot of your local representatives, you know, they're around the corner. You can knock on yeah. the door, make an appointment and have a conversation. Exactly. So what do you say they're to right people here. that, that yeah. feel like, right, like their vote just doesn't count at all? Yeah. Because a lot of people well, feel I... that way. Yeah. 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 I, and I understand. I, I definitely was uh, in that position as well, like mm -hmm. not too long ago where I was like, oh, this is bigger than me, you know, and they're going to choose. So they're going to choose. Da, 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 da. And I think we have to take our power back. We have to realize what power, what the mm -hmm. type of power that we have as a community. Um, and and um, I think that just comes, you know, one step at a time. I'm not. And I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call myself a, a pol pol politician or, or you know, right. a, a outright activist, but, you know, mm -hmm. I, I know the power in, in community. I know the power in numbers. And mm -hmm. so um, when we do that, then, you know, that's something that that is un unbreakable. And I think uh, we have to take that power back, um, especially Definitely. as a youth. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, yeah. because we, we're, mm -hmm. we're, we're going to we are the future. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think yeah, pe people need to hear from you. People need to hear from you. And that's a very yeah. important thing that you just said. Like you said, well, you don't want to necessarily call yourself some sort of activist. And I think that what you just said is actually very important. And it's yeah. one of the things I like to say a lot of the times, the people that don't call themselves activists, the people that are yeah. actually on the ground, that are in the community. Like you said, you went to Atlanta. Prior to any of this, you were in Philly, yeah. in the rain, like you said, canvassing, really getting out there and showing yeah. people that they needed to vote. You were out there just really trying to get the message heard. And like you yeah. said, people were seeing themselves in you as youth, not some sort of old fuddy-duddy. Those right, are the exactly. people when you don't... So it's almost like when I said, when people say like, oh, I'm a genius. You ain't got to tell me you a genius, child. Like, if you're a genius, yeah. I'm going a, I'm to a tell you. We'll see that in so, you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll right. see it in you. So you're saying like, well, I'm, you know, you're, there's, you know, there's a lot of humility there, but but even you just doing those things, you know, a lot is 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 shown in, in what is done and what is proved proven. So, I I think you're doing That's amazing right. and incredible work, and I'm so glad Thank that you. you focused on no that you focused on voting. So, you know, like you said, July 18th is National Mandela Day. How do yes. you think this project overall is going to inspire people? Oh, it's it's oh my God, it's such a dope project. When I when I heard mm -hmm. that about it, I was like, I have to be a part of it. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's going to enlighten people. I think it's going to educate people. Uh, I think it's going to uh, put a fire under everybody's ass, you know, in a way that uh, mm -hmm. is exciting. And I think like, you know, it's it's important to um, understand who Nelson Mandela was and what he stood for. And I think maybe sometimes, uh, you know, the youth doesn't. And so, uh, you know, bringing, you know, uh, um, community leaders, I would say, you know, mm -hmm. uh, I, don't, I, don't, I, hate, I hate saying celebrities, but like, you know, bring the celebrities and-, and <laughs> Celebrities <laughs> like, like, your, like yourself. <laughs> right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, like, you know, allowing us to to lead the charge, um, I think it's gonna bring a lot of, of focus to the causes that um, we are all uh, undertaking. So um, I, I think mean, it's I a think dope project. Many of, of us love that, you know, it, it would be very easy for you to just bask in, in the in the, the light and the shine of being a celebrity and, and do mm -hmm. just only that. You know, you don't have you, you don't have an obligation to anyone to do anything more than, you know, than what you decide to do. Right. 
and yeah. the fact that you're able to give back and like you said at your at your young age and and still mm. want to make that kind of impact i mean it's very very inspirational i'm a, i'm hey. a little bit older than you you know what i'm saying i, I can i can stand to, <laughs> yeah. i can stand to do a lot more myself but um you are you are inspirational in, in doing that and i do want to ask i want to honor um of course your achievements by asking what's next for you um as you continue to grow in your career oh that's beautiful thank you for honoring my achievements um <laughs> uh, <laughs> <clears throat> season two uh, of Bel Air okay. is uh, coming. Uh, it's coming out next year, so we start filming in September. Uh, that's super exciting, and I think um, we will be able to see Will explore uh, more more than Bel Air. Uh, you know, step outside of Bel Air into different cities, and uh, um, and so that that that's going to be fun. Um, I'm excited for that, and uh, I have music coming out as well next year. Oh, good. Do you uh, have any and, name for the products? I wanted to, to get into that. Yeah. Oh no, man! No name for it yet. yet. Okay, I'm still okay. in the I'm still in the construction process, but yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I'm really down and dirty in the in the mud with it right now. You you, uh, you in a stew? You in a stew? Yeah, we in a stew. We in a stew. We in the trenches. <laughs> we back in the trenches. Back. back oh, here, back you know in Philly. I mean? Exactly. 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 Uh, <laughs> but got yeah, the Philly yeah, yeah. bulls. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got it. You got it. The Philly bulls. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, but um. Yeah, so that's that's what I've been working on, and I'm super Good. excited. I'm super grateful to, to have the access that I do now, and to spread it around to uh, you know all my friends and family, and allowing that's us to, to grow and, and um, grow together. So that's that's something I that, want, that I want to ask you a, um, such a, a ridiculous question now. Okay, what is the most obnoxious, ri crazy, ridiculous thing that you've bought since you were you know you've entered this new world of yours of celebrity? Oh, that I that I've yeah, bought. Just, Something you were like, did I really need to go ahead and get that? Even if it was a table somewhere, you know. That was the uh, most obnoxious thing you could spent money on. Where yeah. you knew it like, that's a damn shame I did that. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I, you know what? I would say my biggest thing is like is an amalgamation of just clothes that I've bought. And, uh, that oh, I've bought, okay, you know? okay. I, 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 you don't see you know, <laughs> kind of <laughs> how much it piles up until you see it all together. Like, yeah, I love clothes so much. And um, that's definitely where a lot of my money has been uh, going to. Not a lot, but, you know, but, yeah, a great but you portion. Know, you might pick it up, yeah. A great, exactly, the, yeah, exactly. The price tag really may not that? matter as much. <laughs> right, exactly. Did I really need that jacket? But I don't know. I, I thought I needed it in the moment. So, yeah, that's, clothes, definitely. That's hilarious. That's hilarious, Barry. Yeah. Once again... <laughs> My name is Coco with BlackFilm.com, and I'm here with Jabari Banks, um, again, that you know as the star of the Peacock hit series, Bel Air. He's a part of the YouTube Black Voices Fund event series, The Mandela Project, that will premiere this Monday, July 18th, on National Mandela Day. Jabari, it was such a pleasure to speak with you, and I cannot wait to see season two, and of course, looking forward to all of the projects that you have in store. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for talking with me. This was lovely. You know I'm, listening, I'm looking forward to the, for the, on the Bull mixtape, too, though. <laughs> coming. coming soon okay, coming good. soon take right. care Javari, okay you too. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. if you want to see more content like this on blackfilm.com make sure you like subscribe and ring that bell